Hello, it's Dr. Abstract from Zim, and today I'm going to show you how you can edit Zim in an editor and view Zim in a browser uh, locally. So um, we will go to the Zim site at zimjazz.com, press on code here, and there's our template, and we hit copy. We'll drop our browser down, and we've got VS Code underneath here. So VS Code is free from Microsoft, very easy to get. And we're going to make a new file here. So I've got a folder open called test8 and a new file. And I call this one local.html like that. And paste uh, zim into that. And we'll call this one local, oh, I can do it, local test. Good. Now we are still loading Zim from a server, so that means we're not completely look like we're not offline. Uh, you can actually um, run Zim offline as well. I can show you that a little bit later, but for now, we're just wanting to test this. So I'm going to hit right click and open with default browser. And there she be. So that's Zim running locally from VS Code, our editor. So if we wanted to, we can edit this I can change that to a red circle and save it. And there it is, a red circle. All right, so how did I do that? I right clicked and said open in default browser. I open, also have open with live server. So I'm gonna press open with live server now. And that runs Zim on a server like that, a local server. And there's our red dot. Here was our other one that is loading it right from the file. Uh, these two things are called extensions down here that we have, and I, you can install the extensions right here. If you don't want to use extensions, um, well, okay, why don't I show you how to install the extensions first? So there is this box right here, and you type in live server. Once you find it, and you hit install. It only takes a second or two. There's open in browser, so you type in open in browser into your search here, and hit install. And then you've got both of these extensions installed. You don't need to do that because local.html is in a folder called test8. So I'm going to reveal it in my file folders. So here it is. Here's test8. There's local.html. I can just, uh, I just clicked on that. Uh, let's see. Yeah, like that. And it loaded. So, or I could drag it onto there and it loaded. So all those things just loaded a whole bunch of examples of that. Okay, so any HTML file usually can just double click it and it will load in a browser or just drag it into a browser. So you could have done it that way. But I like being able to right click here and use, or use a hotkey to open up in a browser that way. And you do that through the extensions right here. Uh, great, wasn't that easy? Yay! So um, next, images. If you want to bring in an image, <coughs> Uh, you would, uh, we, we've got an image here under assets, so I've got a folder called assets, and there's cathead, yay. Okay, so I'm going to preload them in here, cathead.png inside of assets slash, like that. So this is the path, and this is the, the file. If we had more than one file, we could put them in an array and load other files too, including sounds and fonts. But we won't bother, I've just got one of them. And then down below, copy that. Down below, we will make a new pick and paste in the URL or, and then I'll know it from the assets. Okay, so there we go. And we save that and I refresh, oh, live server is already refreshed because I saved it. And so in live server, our cat, head is going. But if we go to our local one and refresh here, oh, broken image. Oh, too bad. And if we F12 to find out what's going on, this is our console, it says that we've got a cores error. So uh, we know about that and it happens. Um, let me take you to where we can find out more information about that. So back on the Zim site here, <clears throat> we can go to the gold bars and then hit tips. In the tips, there's information about images 
and sound, both of those will have the same issue. And even I think frame probably says something. So here's images. Images can be loaded with frame or you can lazy load them. When you view images from the web locally in a browser on the canvas, there's a security error that mentions cores. The issue will go away on a server. So once you upload this to a server, there's no problem. Or indeed, as you saw on live server, there's no problem. So this is a, a general Canvas framework issue, uh, not just Zim. So uh, other frameworks such as 3JS, Phaser, etc., will also have this problem. <clears throat> but you can solve it quite easily. On Firefox, you go, you type about config into your browser bar, and then turn this one to false. On PC, you add this little bit right here to um, your shortcut to open Chrome. And then you just open it from there. And so that's what I do. Let me show you how. On Mac Chrome, on Safari, those things. Okay. So if we reduce this down, there's my Chrome shortcut right there. I right click and say properties. And right here, there's the target. And that came with your Chrome. Sorry, that's going to be really small. Why don't we copy it all here? And you just add the allow file access from files there. So let me show you what that looks like. That would have already been in your Chrome shortcut. Sorry. Then we add a space and dash dash allow file access from files. OK, so that is that's in my shortcut here. So what you need to do is you need to close all your browsers, make sure you've got no Chrome, have no Chrome, and open from the shortcut instead. Yay! So that's a shortcut, and now I right click here and say, brum, 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 open in default browser, and hey, look at that. Now locally, I have my cat head. Okay, so that's what I do. And then usually you keep your Chrome open anyway. I've got all sorts of tabs here and you're just testing that way. But just be careful if you had no browsers open, so no browsers are open and I right click from here and say open in default browser, broken icon. So instead, open from your shortcut, then open from here, open in default browser, and you've got your cat. Yay. Okay, so that is using Zim locally in VS Code. You may have been using Zim from the editor. So here's the Zim editor. There's all sorts of uh, examples of Zim, like lots and lots and lots, hundreds of examples of Zim. And we've got, um, so, I mean, you can go grab the code at animation on an editable path. You could hit the code there and you can copy this code into the editor, uh, sorry, into the local editor. So that's what I want to show you. Uh, you can also move this code from the zap with this arrow locally over here. Um, right now we're testing this one where I drag that circle and it rolls over. So let's move this code right here. I'm going to copy it, copy. And note, it starts with given F, S, W, and H. That's where it starts. Okay, anyway, I'm going to copy this and bring it on over into here. So there's the given FS, etc. So we don't want to just paste it over top of everything here. We want to put it inside this ready function because this is already in the editor. This stuff is in the editor and basically we want to paste right in here like that, paste. So there it is. Uh, I can select that. Tab it over so it's better. Okay, so now we're all, all that stuff from the editor is inside the ready function. And I hit uh, open in default browser. Boop. No, <laughs> I save it first. <laughs> this is what I saw. Uh, refresh here, and there it is brought into our uh, locally uh, right in here. Okay, so yay. And likewise, you can go the other way around. You can take your stuff from here and put it in the editor. So I, if I copy that, I would then come back to the editor here and paste it in the editor. Paste and test. And there it is working in the editor. <laughs> okay, and if you log into the editor, then you can say file, 
and you can save that file. So you can save it in the cloud <laughs> in the Zim editor. And then you can load any files that you want. So here's a simple uh, badges thing that we had, uh, et cetera, et cetera. And you can see the code, code for that. Okay, that would make this test. All right, so that's how the editor works. And, and once again, you could have taken that and pasted it into. Just be careful a little bit. Um, some of them have physics or 3JS or CAM, etc. cetera. Uh, that's really easy to deal with on the editor. If you had wanted physics, you'd go underscore physics here. And now we brought in physics and that would work um, here on the editor or locally on the editor. All right, I'm Dr. Abstract. I think that kind of shows you how you can view things locally. Uh, Zim is pretty amazing. If you want to join us, come in to the forum here or Discord, either one of those things. Uh, forums are official one, really. Uh, and you can hang out with us, ask any questions you want. We'd love to hear from you. Uh, have a great day or night. Bye-bye.